the barometer shows the weather is really good for the spring equinox. And the temperature now, according to this, is 27, 28 degrees centigrade. So let's do some gardening. Okay, this is the springtime. And the first day of spring. What do you think about it now? When yeah. you're looking back or I looking forward? Everything's just popping up, aren't they? Everything's just popping up now. Our we've got onions, haven't we? The garlic. Garlic. We have the kale. And we've got kale. And uh with some uh yeah. We still have some greens, don't we? Some, yeah, we have uh, also some... Uh, we still have some salad greens, winter salad greens. Celery. Yeah, and we've got celery, yeah. And yeah. now, yesterday, Chard. I managed to put some sheep wool down, cardboard on top of it, then cover it with the... some wood chip. We have here some um, Swiss chard, a few turnips left over from the winter, and Persian cress and some um, spinach and some celery. So what I'm going to do now is to clear is finished uh, cabbages and clean the lift up all the turnips and go for the next planting which I think will be onions from set this is the time to plant onion from set why because uh, the major cold has passed we have yet sometimes some frost in the early morning but that major frost has passed uh, the plant will not think if the frost comes that it is winter because the days will be warm anyway and will not bolt means going to seed the onions so this is the best time in the UK to plant your onions without the danger of going to having a onion which is in seed these are the two varieties of the onion and the shallot that I'm going to grow. This is called the Stuttgart Giant and this one Golden Gourmet. So I will plant them and hoping that they will do best. And fortunately this corner is close to the hedge so I have to water them extra because nutrients and everything else is taken also by the hedge. This is the golden warmer and as you can see some of them are bad so I put them aside. The good ones you can use. I use this uh, stick as a broken handle of a broom I think as a dibber and I dig holes every 25 centimeter and I put a shallot in them. Let's just do this. And when I made the hole with the dibber, I put my shallot like that. The tip of it is outside. So usually you can cover it if you want because the birds may pull it out. If you see such a thing happen, just go and put it back. But I'm going to cover everything with a, a fleece. I have a fleece, so I'm using it. That way I'm, I'm not worried about anything happening to them. They can grow safely. And it also keeps them warm until uh, warmer than a little bit. One, two, one degree, two degree warmer. Until they grow big. And when you're planting, you have to look for two sides, this side is the root side, this side is the top side. So plant it on the um, root side down 
and the top side up. In this way, they will have the chance to grow. So the distance is around 25 centimeter, but to be able to grow more in this space that I have, instead of planting one here and then one another one here, I give them a little bit more space so I can put the rows closer together. And this one and this one, the middle of them next row, and the same for everything. In this way I can have more space at the same time in the space that I have available. Uh, why is this space is important? With experience I've found it and you already probably know that. The more space you give to your, uh, you know, uh, shallots or onions or garlic, the bigger, the bigger the bulbs will be. So the smaller bulbs with a smaller space. Bigger bulbs with bigger space. Uh, prize winning onions and shallots grow in very uh, their own pots so or space that they have. They grow very well in that condition. And now planting of the onions and shallots are finished. I'm giving them a good soak of water. Then I will cover them with the fleece. So the birds will not pick them. Thinking they are warm or some creature they can eat. The soil was very dry so the surface I have to moisten it a bit. And a happy allotment. And this is the end result. The beds are not covered again. And we go next for the another bed.